Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. When we last left off, we were exploring. Now, I've pushed the wrong button. Also, I have my new control pad. It's different. <laughs> That's the only thing I can really say. It um, feels like a kind of a 360 control pad, I guess. And I'm just going to push like every single wrong freaking button because I'm so used to the PlayStation uh, buttons. I can say, oh my god, the, the D-pad on this thing. Um, unlike the Dreamcast uh, D-pad, it feels like a D-pad. It's, you know, like, like a good one. It, <laughs> it's really cool. Right, so we need the lighter. We're going to go back downstairs. Okay. <laughs> So let's go back downstairs and we are going to go into the painting room, burn the painting, and uh, get the other gem so we can come back up here. Right, well luckily we can take the uh, shortcut here. Now, what's interesting is this control pad actually came with some interesting blurb. It, it gives you some information on the components that they used. Now, they used the same technology on the, uh, well, for the analog stick as the Nintendo Switch users. And they actually have a little dig at the Nintendo. Oh my god, the D-pad. I could play this game with the D-pad. Uh, with the analog stick, sorry. Ooh. Yeah, this is my first time actually using this controller. Um, yes, yeah, uses the same technology as the uh, Switch control pad, but they actually make a bit of a dig Let's say the analog stick uses a high-end micro uh, potentiometer, similarly used in the Switch or high-end Android tablet devices. But don't worry, there are no drift issues here. And I like that. So uh, I guess they use a slightly different model than the Switch, maybe a better one, I'm not sure. But the D-pad, oof, the D-pad is glorious. If anyone's used a Dreamcast control pad, not only is the analog pad shit, and it's not exactly a comfortable control pad either. But the D-pad is this mushy, horrible thing. Um, yeah, none of that here either, which is fantastic. Um, we have two sets of shoulder buttons. Kind of like the play st uh, PlayStation control pad. Or a Xbox control pad. You've got the triggers at the bottom and then you've got like uh, clicky buttons up top. Now, obviously, they both do the same thing, except you've got your digi uh, you've got digital buttons if you just need something that has a single function, or you've got the analog pressure-sensitive buttons at the bottom. So you've got the best of both worlds here. It's, yeah, really cool. Um, is it worth £50? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, and you will have to decide for yourself whether a high-quality... Oh, we've got... No, we haven't. We're going the right way. Uh, whether a high-quality new control pad is worth it for you, it depends how much you use your Dreamcast, of course. But for me, yeah, I think so. I'd like to get another one in a box. And my phone is going. One second, guys. Uh, another nice thing about this control pad, which some Dreamcast players might like is the control pad cable actually comes out the back of the controller instead of the bottom which obviously on the Dreamcast uh, <laughs> on the official control pad you actually have to feed the controller under the bottom and it's got a little clip and it's uh, I don't know what they were thinking um, it's all very strange and there was one other thing that I thought was really impressive with this. Yeah, the cable length as well. Instead of the Dreamcast 6-foot cable, it's actually got a 10-foot cable, which is really nice. Anyway, enough gushing about this control pad. Um, let's get on with the game. It's actually the Retro Fighters control pad. That's what it's called. It's the Retro DC Striker for anyone that's interested. I don't know how... Uh, readily available these things are going to be. Don't know if they're going to be like a, a, a couple of batches and then they're gone or I don't know if they're going to be around for years. I'm hoping they're going to be around for years. Um, because I do want to get another one or two or maybe three. I, I don't know. 
the finish and the molding is okay. Uh, you can tell it's not an official product, but the buttons feel fantastic. Right, so now we have everything we need. Let's go back upstairs. Because we have the other gem now. Uh, the window as well. <laughs> you really should stop talking about this thing, but the window for the VMU is also significantly better. The, the cutout is much better. Um, so you can actually see the VMU much easier. On the official Dreamcast, you have to kind of like tilt the control pad towards you and look at it pretty much straight on. Otherwise, you can't really see it. Not so in this one. The viewing window is significantly better. Also, we have turbo features on, on this control pad, which for the games that I play, they're not that useful. But, I mean, you know it's there, so... Uh, the the analog stick also clicks in like a modern analog stick, but obviously the Dreamcast doesn't have any functionality with that. So, but that's excuse me. I am so tired, guys. I've literally just had an hour's sleep after work, and oh god, exhausted. But I really wanted to play some of this uh, with this control pad. Okay. Let's get out of here. I'm still preferring to play this game with the D-pad. It just works better, I think. As good as this analog stick now is. Okay, let's go grab our other gem. And head on in to the other side. Right. Uh, oh, we don't... We're not going to need the lighter now. Uh, yeah, fine. Okay. No, Claire. No, Claire. Don't. Ah, stay away. Stay away from the box. No touchy the box. Now, I thought there was liquors out here. I think there's going to be liquors out here a little bit later on. Still not here? Okay. Cool. Not going to argue. So... I can't remember what we get from the statue, whether it's another key or if it is a plate. Could be another key, maybe. Right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An armored stone statue. Yeah. Tyr uh, Tyrannos, the brave, revives with two lights. Yes. Now, these busts here are so similar, actually. And I've pushed the map again. They're so similar to. Um, the bust in Resident Evil 1, I believe, you know, in that back room upstairs, right at the top of the kitchen, where you uh, have to push the button on it and it creates a light so you can see where you can push the statue uh, to open the secret passage. There we go. But of course, oh, okay, so it is. Uh, one of those. Got ya. Right, well, we'll have it. So that's two down, one to go. Oh, that's right. That one's broken in half. Right, yes. So there's one in the library. And no, we do need the lighter still. Yes, I'm getting ahead of myself. We do need the lighter still. So we need to go back to the main hall and go the other way. We also have this key. Ah, we didn't go that way either, did we? Okay, let's go this way. Uh, we could, I guess, have dropped off some stuff, but yeah, fuck it. I don't know how many item slots we've got left, actually. What have we got? What are we rolling with? We've got four item slots. Fuck my ass. We've got plenty. Let's go this way. And I can't remember if I said this in one of the previous videos or not, but I will apologize at the amount of uh, noise the Dreamcast makes. It is a loud beast. It is so loud. There's nothing I can really do about it. And I love this area. It's just one of the most horrific areas in the game, if you ask me. Oh, that sound. 
That sound is horrific, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Right, let's pull for these herbs here because, you know, we may as well. We're not going to leave anything for the roaches. I'll have them. Nice. Gimme, 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 gimme. So let's head into the office. Yeah, we have zombies in here. Give me some ammo, please, buddy. What have we got? 65, okay, so it gives 15. It's not bad, not bad, I guess. Uh, nothing going on in here. Now, I don't think we have the key to this room. Yeah, we need the heart key for that. That's okay. Right, so what have we got going on here? This fella's asleep. We're going to leave him where he is. We're going to let him chill. Come on, you bastards. Come to Claire. Ooh, to you too, my friend. God, all these brain munchers. Jesus, move like you got a purpose, son. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, the vibration is good on this controller as well. I did wonder, because the controller is a lot lighter and a lot smaller than the original um, DC pad. <laughs> Ooh, that roll, that, <laughs> that, that rumble's got some kick to it now. Ooh. We're not used to that. We're empty. Reload. Come on. Go down. Two rounds left. Did I fire five or six shots? Do you feel lucky, punk? Ooh. Of course. Is he gone? Uh, I can't really tell because there's one on the floor that's sleeping. Yeah, he's dead. Cool. We're not going to waste the one on the floor because fuck that guy. Right. So, let's have a little look in here, shall we? So, it's, of course, two, two, three, six. Okay. Acid rounds. Sure. We'll have them. We'll have them. We'll put those in our back pocket because why not? And we'll take the map as well for good measure. Excellent. Now, uh, there is stuff behind this desk if memory serves. Mm hmm. Sure, it's a herb. Yeah. It's a herb. Just one herb or is there multiple? No, just one. Okay. I actually thought there was. Uh, zinc ribbons there, but we don't need them. We don't want them. Um, I don't think there's any bullets or anything that useful around here. I'm sure there's a file in here. What do you reckon, Claire? You've been here once or twice before. No, I don't think... Yeah, because I actually thought... That fact... No. Okay. Fair enough. So we need to go back to an item room, but that's fair enough. We can sort that out. This bit's going to be a bit shit. I think we're going to be surrounded when we come out here. But that's okay. No, okay, we're fine. Well, let's light these guys up. Reload. Oh, this gun is so satisfying. Reload. We're going to tear through this ammo, but hey, that's what it's there for. Tearing through it. Come on, Claire. Light these things up. Hold the line. We are going to accomplish what these cops could not. We're going to clear the... Uh, Ooh, the RPD out. Yep. One zombie at a time, and there's still one alive, apparently. Oof. Come on, you fucker. Have a chew. There you go. Yeah, they're all dead now. So there's another herb there, but which obviously we, we can't really pick up. Oof, we are low, guys. We are very low on uh, ammunition. But that's okay. That's okay. That, of course, will change. But we have cleared out huge areas of the RPD, so it's fine. Hmm. Now, let's go back to our item box. I mean, we could go back through here. I think. We can actually get into uh, another room now. All right, let's jiggle our junk around. Uh, we do not need all these herbs. 
don't need any of these herbs, really. Um, we don't need that. Not yet. Uh, weapons. Let's have. Let's have some uh, order to this chaos. Right. Let's drop you up there. Weapons can come down here, like all the way down here. Key items there. Uh, right. There we go. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Okay. Uh, we could take the bowgun, I guess. Like, if... Uh, do we need... Ah, fuck it. It's fine. We've got 12 bullets. Ooh, we ain't gonna get far with 12 bullets, are we? Uh, we've got another room to... Cl yeah, yeah, alright. Let's take the bowgun, actually. We might need it. I think we are going to need it. Right. Just in case. I mean, the bow gun, it's... <sighs> what, can the, what can you say about the bow gun? Um, it's not the shotgun. <laughs> it's... Yeah... It, I don't think it's as shit as I thought it was once. But it's not good. Thinking about it... Yeah, in the remake, you didn't get the bow gun, did you? Ooh. I don't think you did. Thinking about it. Nothing to care about. Yeah, I thought there might be some bullets there, but maybe not. There's a herb there. We'll have him. Fuck yeah. Everything's green, if you know what I mean. Um, I always thought that was red wine there. Because if you look at this thing here, it's a cigarette. It's an ashtray, I think. But it looks like a wine glass. It's just been spilt. Eh, that's my brain for you. There's some more wine there. Nothing inside looks useful. Are you sure, Claire? Are you positive? Are you absolutely certain there's no goodies in there? Well, if you say so. I think this area has some... Uh... Ah, shit. Oh, I've pushed the wrong button again. Do I have the lighter? I do not have the lighter because I'm a moron of the highest caliber. Fuck's sake. One second, guys. I'm going to go all the way back and get the lighter. And we're back. Okay. Lighter in hand. Uh, how do we want to take this guy out? Let's use the... Let's use this bad boy. <coughs> oh, he's gone. Now, 18 shots. It seems like you're going to get a lot of ammo with this thing, but you don't. This thing fires three shots. Oh, yeah. Three shots per... Um, burst, I guess you could say. Oof. Right. What are we dealing with now? How many shots do we fire? So we've got one load left. Which is not fantastic. But, I mean, I guess actually that was more powerful than I, I thought it was. Because it did put those guys down with the exception of one. Yeah, club key. With the exception of one, it did put them down. In one hit. Okay, so let's go this way. So we've used that key there. Mm. So we've got the cable. Oh, yeah. I fucked this up, haven't I? My stupid memory is remembering things wrong because of course it is there's that okay well we better have this bad boy and that yep piss off pal Ooh, he was just about to do his jump attack that would have got ugly Bastards. Okay. 
for night. Can we get into this one? Yes, we can. This one isn't locked. Didn't think it was. So we almost have everything we need. Almost. Ah, I thought as much. There's some bullets over there. Do we want them? That's the question. Yep. I guess we do. Okay. I, w I, I kind of freaked out there. Ow. Ow. Oh, come on. Right. That was bad. That was really bad on my part. Uh, I kind of wanted to experiment there a little bit to see how good this gun is against liquors. It's... Uh, not that great. I mean, it, it's okay. Um, but it's not worth relying on, put it that way. I'm sure there's a file in here. No? No? Okay. So it's just literally 15 bullets in here, but you've got to go through a liquor. Uh, I'm not sure if that exchange was worth it. I, I think probably not. Uh, we are actually really low on bullets. Oh, we got the grenade launcher still. Yeah, we got the grenade. Ah, we're fine. Jesus. Yeah, we're fine. Right, so we still need the club key and the heart key. I'm pretty sure the heart key uh, you only use on one door, which is fine. I know where that is. So let's go all the way back to the dark room. And we're going to need the crank soon. Uh, go this way. It's quickest, I think. There shouldn't be any more enemies spawned. But the dark room is quite the contested area, from what I can remember. And we're definitely going to need something uh, a little bit more than a, a pocket full of handgun rounds. Definitely going to need some decent ammo. So I might take the grenade launcher. We're really not getting a lot of bowgun ammo, are we? We will. But not at the moment. In fact, well, I say we will. Um, I, I don't think... Uh, there is a huge amount of bowgun ammo in this game, to be honest with you. Right, let's drop you up here. You up here. We... We could use that, like... Either way, really. Uh, there's a couple of places we could use this. Uh, we could use it in the first liquor hallway. Or we can use it in the hallway before you get to the basement. The one that goes down. Uh, I think I'm going to save it for there. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make too much difference. It's useful just to use it, I guess, somewhere. Let's have a green. Smoke them if you got them, I guess. There we go. Back up to fine. We will take the grenade launcher. Just as a insurance policy. Three grenades. Yeah, three grenades should do. Can you stop fiddling with your box, Claire? Thank you. I know. It's nice to have a fiddle now and again, but... There's a time and a place for fiddling, and a time and a place for action. And it's time for some action. Okay. Now. Yeah, because we can use it there. And that will bring the shutters down. Uh, I don't know why I was going to examine that door. We've already been in there. And that will, in the second scenario, block zombies from entering. The, man, uh, the mansion, the precinct, but eh, you've got to pick one or the other. Now they kind of replaced that idea, I think, in the remake. Oh, I'm not going to say, okay, we're not going to talk too much about the remake, because I know there's possibly someone that's going to be watching this that has possibly, at the time of uh, this recording, not played the remake. So I don't want to spoil it for anyone. 
There we go. This key is useless now. Excellent. Now, what is through here? Apart from an ass ton of zombies. Yep. Danger close. Boom! Boom. You know what, Mr. Crawling Zombie? Have a nibble. There we go. That's actually dropped us down to caution, which ain't great, but... Yeah. So that gives us the plastic explosive. We've still got 16 bullets left. All I need now to destroy the wall block, uh, blocked by the helicopter is a detonator. It is, Claire. Yeah, I thought there's still one left. There is some stuff around here somewhere. Come on, you bastard. Come get your medicine. I got six. Oh, here he comes. Six happy little friends here. Sit down. There's another one. This isn't good. This is not good. Get down. Oof. Right, what we got left? Not good. Eight rounds. That's okay. I'm sure there's ammo or something around this side. Oh no, it's the film. Really? Where's all the bullets, man? Where's all the bullets? Alright, well, I guess... I guess it is what it is, my friends. We don't need bullets. We're Redfield. We'll take a bite out of the fucking zombies if we have to. Alright, let's go see Mr. Brannan. I think he's the only zombie in here, to be honest. Oh, wait. Did I just ruin the game? 20-odd year old game? Yeah, so we've got Herb there, which is cool. Now, this room, uh, in a later game, we will fight a nasty bastard in here. But we don't have to worry about that yet. Right, okay, well, we've got some bullets there. Looks like Marvin's wasted a bad guy. Some more bullets. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. You know, I always thought that water cooler there was full of blood. Looks like it's full of blood. But I think the bottle's just red. You got red on you. There's more bullets in here, I believe. Someone's made quite a mess. Hmm, yes they have. Wait a minute. I could have sworn there's more bullets here. Son of a bitch. Okay. God damn son of a bitch. Right, well, we have some reading material here, so I guess we better uh, read some words. Yay. Memo to Leon. To Leon S. Kennedy, congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. We all look forward to having you as part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys at the RPD. Yeah, I bet they wouldn't get away with that these days. All the guys? What about the girls at the RPD? Yeah, interesting. Oh. G Marv, do you have any bullets or is that all I'm going to get? I mean, that's pretty fucking stingy to be honest, mate. You're going to give me something. Well, let's go unlock this door, I guess. There we go. Right, let's go see Marv. <clears throat> hey, buddy. You alright there, Chief? You, uh, you yeah, look so good, pal. Somebody's making a lot of noise outside. Ooh. Marv, no! Well. Let's bring him down. I do love what they did for Marvin in the remake. I know I've said it a thousand times. But I really do. So we now have the detonator. We now have a herb. So let's put two and two together and come out with 12. Uh, let's eat that. I can't believe how many herbs we're going through, actually. Hmm, I'm feeling like a little bit of a noob right now. Which is frustrating. I thought I was adequate at this game. I mean, we're not doing bad, I guess. We're playing it on, like, 
baby difficulty um, just because my memory is shocking and I need to get used to this game again so let's go back upstairs yes we don't have many bullets left do we we've, I think we've got like another reload or two and that's it we are not doing that fantastically. No, we're okay actually. We've got three. We got three loads of ammo for this thing, thereabouts. So zombies seem to take about six bullets from this gun if you get lucky. Sometimes five. That's not too bad. And there's that wonderful save room music. Ah, lovely. So, anyway, guys. Uh, actually, what I will do? Let's go. Let's go prepare. Let's go blow the fucking chopper. I like the way Claire mentions blowing up the chopper before you've like even examined the helicopter. Like, she knows that there's C4. She knows there's a bomb. She knows what she's doing. Look at this mess. The door is broken. I can't go any further. There's no chance but to take out the wall. Jesus, Claire. Calm down. Take out the wall. She really wanted to go that way then, huh? And there we go. That is one powerful fucking bit of C4. Didn't do much to the wreckage of the helicopter, though. And all I can think about is little bits from Remake. Like how they've matched up. And... Yeah, <laughs> they actually did really well with remake. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with what they did. Right, let's go save this game because we are out of time. Uh, we're gonna put that down for now. We will obviously use that later on. Uh, this is Winchester, so let's drop you back. Oof, I'm not looking good from an ammo standpoint. We are really not looking good. Right, okay. And I'm liking these buttons. I, I didn't think they were going to be that much different um, when I first started fiddling with this control pad a minute ago. But they're actually smoother and they don't... Like the Dreamcast control pad, the buttons are really hard and the carving of the like uh, A, B, X and Y um, lettering is really hard edged and it does start like irritating your thumb after a while but these are soft and they, they don't do that which is something that I didn't even realize was that much of a problem until I started using this okay yeah very happy with this control pad so let's drop another save so Claire A 03 waiting room and thank you very much for watching guys I hope you're still enjoying this game I'm having a wicked time with this and as always Till next time.